Destiny Ray has endured more in her three short years than most do in a lifetime. Not that you'd know it. <laughs> she has chronic kidney disease and is put through dialysis every week. Is that good? Yeah. yeah. The condition leaves a constant question mark over her future. And so she comes here for care to Noah's Ark Children's Hospice in North London with her mum, Maria. I've nearly lost this child about four times where the doctor said, you know, we're not sure if we're going to make it through the night. She caught meningitis at six weeks old. She deteriorated. She, to, the challenge that we face, that she's faced, she's stronger than me. People say that I'm strong. No, no, no. She's the strong one. I'm just carrying her through it. What's this place meant to you? Oh, gosh. Heaven sent. I owe them everything. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting emotional just thinking about it, but I really do because I didn't think there was anything help. I didn't think there was anything that could help me or anyone that could help me. You can't decide, can you? All of the children here have life-limiting or life-threatening conditions, but they are manageable for now, okay. thanks to palliative bounce. care nurses like Lucy. She spends her days either here in the hospice or on the road visiting children at home. It's just nice to work in a role where you can spend the time with the families and the children. But the hospice is currently down a third on the nurses it needs. How much pressure does that place on the nurses that are there, like yourself? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a huge pressure because at the moment we don't have the capacity in order to care for all these lovely children and families. And that must be heartbreaking. Yeah, we just, we don't like the word no. Unfortunately, we have to say no to them um, if, because we just don't have the staffing. Hi, Samuel. How are you? Attracting people to work with seriously ill children is tough, and so too is paying their wages. We have to check that your sugars are within range, okay. um, whether they're too low or too high. Children's hospices receive, on average, 17% of their funding from the government. The rest comes from donations. Good boy, let me get a little brave. squeeze. Fun runs, cake sales, second-hand clothes mean Samuel can receive hospice care. But Noah's Ark must raise £4 million a year to pay for it. This is one of six inpatient rooms in this hospice. Right now, only three are being used. There is the capacity to take more children here. There is the demand to take more children. But right now, they simply don't have enough staff. We will always prioritise a child that's dying, uh, but that can, that can mean that sometimes children and families that would like respite, um, we're not able to offer it because we haven't got enough uh, nurses. It's a challenge for us because we're raising voluntary income and we need to pay competitive salaries um, for nurses to even come to us, you know, from the NHS. And, it, and it's difficult as a charity to raise those funds. But those funds can change lives. Happy birthday to you. The staff have gathered to throw a party for Precious on this, her ninth birthday. <gasps> oh. She has a rare neurological condition and has been coming here since she was a baby. Precious was meant not to last a week after she was born. And because we've had um, the hospice behind us, we've just celebrated her ninth birthday. And we still believe that we shall even go farther. We shall get into double digits with Precious. And the only wish for the staff here is that they can keep being there for many more children to help make the most of every moment.